welcome back to the vlog and thanks so much for watching. I put on my makeup, I did my hair, my earrings in, jewelry on, we're documenting this. Okay, we're gonna document it. First of all, look how cute he is. Oh my goodness, he's bigger than a rug. Sally, you're so big. So, I got dressed. Um, I always look so much paler on this camera than I do in person. So, I self-tanned yesterday. Figured I'd wear white, make it pop. Doesn't even show. This top is from Walmart. I'll link it in the description bar below for you guys. I think I got a large and I definitely could have gone with a medium. <laughs> and then I'm wearing these adorable 501 stretch skinny or skinny stretch Levi's. Wearing a 31 could have gone with a 30. So we're a little ill-sized today, but it's okay. Um, sometimes, you know, I guess it's better to have something be bigger than smaller, but I wanted to show you guys because I am put together. And this does not happen. Also, I'm gonna share a sneak peek of my collaborations in April. Um, so it's obviously not April yet, but I'm collaborating with Just Fab two times. And for the first collaboration, I got two of the like most polar opposite shoes on the planet. Like, random. Um, so I guess I'll start with these. I usually don't do neon but I'm trying to like branch out into like a little bit more boho because that's definitely what my style is evolving towards and I really love Everyday Abby on Instagram. She has the best boho style that's not like I don't know how to describe it. It's like it's like girly boho. It's not like hippie boho. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, but she wears a lot of like neon stuff and so I was like all right well, let's venture out and so I got these neon pumps. They are so adorable. They, most of their shoes are like all the same sizing. Um, nine and a half, I believe it doesn't say it on the bottom, but I think I got these in a nine and a half. It is a pretty high heel, but I think they're so adorable. And then I also got these. I think these are a part of the Casey Holmes collection or maybe she just like collaborated with them and has pictures in these, I'm not sure, but these are also um, some. And what I love about these is the detail. I know like some people think like Birkenstocks look so ugly, but I mean, I think these are fun. This adds just like a little bit. So I'll link these in the description bar for you guys. I've been wearing them a lot lately. They're so adorable. Really comfortable too. God, my toenails. Oh my gosh. When this is all over, I'm going to treat myself to a full day at the, um, like at the salon and get a mini petty because your girl needs it. But how cute. And they're two to size. Got nine and a half. So you can see I'm kind of, oh, that didn't help. I just love them though. I don't know, trying to venture out a little bit more. Be a little different than what I usually buy. But the shoe shelves are getting a little ridiculous. I ordered like, I think it was two pairs of shoes this week on the huge Nordstrom sale. And I just know, I mean, Sam's the one who edits these videos. So I know he's going to know about it. But I told Sam, I was like, you got me some stuff from the Nordstrom shelf for my birthday. And he was like, okay. So that's what I ordered. And I cannot wait for them to come in. I think the, oh, let's see. The regular Nordstrom stuff, I don't believe has shipped at all. Let's see. No. It has not shipped at all. But the shoes have one pair of the shoes have. When I'm filming a, gen a video, I generally put like all my stuff onto a notebook and that way my thoughts aren't kind of all over the place because I can be a little talkative. And so if I'm just rambling on, I don't, it takes me a minute to get to the point. So I write all my notes out. Um, so that's what I'm actually about to do. And then we're gonna film a video later. I think Sam is either gonna cut the grass, go play soccer with his brothers. I'm not entirely sure, but we ordered HelloFresh last night and I saw this morning it won't be until Thursday. I didn't think it was like two-day shipping or anything crazy, but I was hoping I would be able to have it for this vlog, but that is not going to happen. Excuse me. So, I'm going to go get to work, and I guess we'll see what we can get ourselves into today, although it's like already two, three o'clock in the afternoon. I just, I just know I'm going to regret this later with the allergies and all that. Coming outside to play with my hubby. Oh, no. Oh, no. Got this super ugly 
Go, Sam. He just keeps kicking it way out in the left field, literally. Good morning, guys. Whew, it is Sunday right now. It's actually, I don't know, I don't have my contacts and I think that's at 11 o'clock. Um, I worked a little bit this morning, still in bed, and I um, did my nails. Sam is actually out cutting the grass right now. It's so odd. It was 75 and sunny yesterday and it's 50 and freezing here today and like dark and rainy. So, well, it's supposed to rain. It's kind of annoying because it's just that time of year. So I look like crap. I'm about to clean this closet because this is actually one of my um, blog posts this week. So I am um, doing like, I have a video up on my main channel on this whole closet, everything that I bought, the links, or I guess even like the sizes, just all that. But I wanted to do a blog post as well because I think, for me, I think it's easier to like reference a blog post. I think it's easier because you can pin a blog post. But I know a lot of people like to see the whole YouTube video like aspect. So I'm just gonna cover it both bases. I'm gonna put it on my blog, but it needs to be cleaned first. And because of what's going on right now, this is what we're using. It's probably not even great to use on these cabinets, but I don't care because they need it or whatever they're called. I can't think. I'm still, still drinking my morning coffee and it's 11 o'clock in the afternoon. So this is the situation we got going on right now. I have a lot of neutral shoes. I don't quite know where to put these. They're new and beautiful. I think I've showed them to you guys. They're so pretty from just fab and I'm obsessed with them, but they don't match my aesthetic in here. <laughs> like where the heck do you put lime green shoes in the middle of all these neutral shoes? Cause usually I'm a neutral shoe girl, but I'm trying to go out on my comfort zone. Also, before I say anything else, let me just, mm. I don't promote companies that I don't believe in. And I think the reason people don't trust, you know, influencers, whatever you choose to call them, social media, people, bloggers, YouTube, whatever. The reason people don't trust them is because for so long, I feel like, and even now, there are still people out there that just promote anything, anybody that'll pay the money to talk about it. Um, I am not like that. I have had companies before say, you know, we want you to have this video up within seven days of receiving the product. And I always respond back and I'm like, sorry, if I've never worked with you, if I don't know that your product's good, that's not gonna work for me. I need at least two to three weeks um, or this just can't happen. And nine times out of 10, they're like, sure, that's fine. You know, just let us know when it's, when your stuff is live. Um, I had a, a comment today on an older video, an Everly Rings video, and the lady girl said, did the, not important, but one of the things they said was, please provide honest feedback, not a review based on free items. Like I always provide honest feedback and I still stand behind my word. And there has only been one incident and it was very early in the beginning of my vlogging YouTube career i think i maybe had like a hundred subscribers on youtube maybe maybe had a thousand followers on instagram and that's pushing it i probably didn't even have that much um a company asked that, that i have something up within seven days and i did it and then the product broke i emailed them and i was like hey this this broke this is crap like what do i do and they literally were like well, there's nothing we can do. You're just gonna have to accept it. So I erased the video, got on Instagram stories and said, hey guys, I totally take back everything I said. I'm so sorry, this is my bad. Um, I actually sent the product back to them because I was like, I'm not keeping your crappy product. I erased every form of, you know, that I had talked about um, their stuff on my social media, every trace of it. And I came out and said like, I screwed up. And that was when I learned, like always take time. So. I've been on my soapbox for a few minutes now, but I just need to say, like, don't dare ever think that I would recommend something to you guys that I don't believe in. That is not true. So for instance, Just Fab. I had a Just Fab subscription starting when I was like 
18. Wondered why you couldn't hear that I was vlogging. Hmm? Could you not hear that I was vlogging? Whoo, you cold. It's cold up there. Um, I'm ranting about that. What? Person saying like, oh. share an honest review. Like, I do. And I'm I told remember that time that that company sent you the watch and it broke? Yeah. And so we, we sent, sent it back? back. Yeah. Did we not? We sent, sell them. Refused to do the video. Yep. Refused to do the vlog post. No, I like erased a, it all because I'd already done it. So. It was like a 200 something dollar watch. Yeah. I wore it for like a week and it, for whatever reason, it would lose track of time. Yeah. And, it would be and they were just like, like, you're supposed to reset the watch every, it was what like, was it, like, every said, hour. They something. said you needed to redo it. Like you had to wind the watch or wear it and it would shake the mechanism. And that's how a lot of watches are that are winding. But yeah, they were saying that I must not be wearing it enough. Yeah. And I was like, it's off by an hour by the end of every day. Yeah. And I'm cranking it. I was yeah, like he it. can't just sit in class and be like, oh, my watch isn't right. So we, we sent it back. Yeah. But I just wanted to just point that out that like I'm never going to share something because like I was saying, I've had a Just Fab. Uh, I had a Just Fab membership. I think I started when I, it would have been when I got my first job. So I was like 16 years old. And every month the shoe would come out. And that's what grew my shoe obsession. So like, I partner with Just Fab because for nearly a decade, I have believed in them. So it just, hmm. Can you tell I'm a little bit annoyed by that comment? And I don't think it was meant to be rude. I just think it was meant to like, hey, you know, provide a, a review based on how you really feel. That is how I really feel. So I talked about it. So that's my two cents. Um, now I gotta get to cleaning. There's a lot in here. Also, the cats have discovered that they can hide back here. So, like, Sam just came and he grabbed a jacket from right here. And Salem came crawling out. And then there's this. She just likes to sit up there. Just, just likes to hang out. Don't you, girl? Yeah? You sweet girl? Okay. Gotta get to cleaning. Okay guys, so I realized I forgot to close out the vlog last night. Um, not even sure what I filmed, but this is quarantine. This is what we're doing. Whole lot of nothing. So please make sure to go below and click the subscribe button if you're new over here. I would love, that was too early. We'd love to have you as a part of our YouTube family. We love you guys. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.